Hey guys, this is Coach Hemi here, and I just want to give you a quick word on potassium. Uh, potassium is such an important uh, vitamin for our bodies. It helps us with our heart, with our muscles to be relaxed. Most people do not know that they're deficient in it, and the reason why is because the our our daily intake of it should be four thousand to almost 5,000 milligrams a day. This is more than twice the amount of sodium. And a lot of people don't know this. Even the supplements that we take uh, from the stores, these supplement stores, they have very, very little uh, dosages. You know, very rarely would you find a supplement that has a pretty decent amount of potassium. But potassium, you know, it's very, uh, very, very essential. And where can we find potassium? You know, naturally we find it in a lot of greens. We find it in, in uh, you know, bananas. That's the dates, um, sweet potatoes, potatoes, beans, lentils. Uh, I think I said milk already. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very essential that we intake this. And we want to also be careful too, like when we take our potassium, because you know, a lot of people, they look to bananas. We got to be careful with the amount of sugar that we intake because um, that, the sugar that we intake, it uh, alters the levels of other vitamins within our bodies, like vitamin B1, vitamin C. It pretty much competes or not, you know, let me not say competes, but it's a uh, throws off balance so to speak it fights for a spot within the body um, so potassium very very important not just for your muscles but for your heart for your nerves for uh, probably other things that I am um, not mentioning right now as well but uh, you know if you want to know uh, more information on what you know has the most potassium uh, I think right now off my head, I think it's beet greens, but greens are going to be your best source. Now, I know not everybody likes greens, so that's why I throw in avocado, which is fruit, but it's like a vegetable because it's not, you know, sweet. A lot of people associate sweetness with fruits, but uh, avocado is really, really good. You can throw in some Himalayan or red man salt right over that baby and mm, it's going to be a great one. Great snack. Um, but yeah, I just want to inform you guys because potassium, uh, you know, like magnesium and zinc, uh, vitamin B1, uh, even vitamin D, believe it or not, not much people go out in the sunlight or, you know, even take vitamin D, uh, because even if you intake it, unless it's like a supplement form and it's on high dosages, a lot of times we're not getting that. And that's very essential, not just for our immune system, which is all over our body, like our bone marrow, or, you know, our thymus, uh, our spleen, um, our skin, our stomach. You know, all this is part of the immune system. Uh, this, I'm telling you, our, our bodies, our bodies need proper fuel. We need to properly fuel our mitochondria, our powerhouse, to feel good in the inside and on the outside. Uh, a lot of people, you know, associate these things. Um, they think that you know, when you eat something or you take something, oh, it's all good. But sometimes the amounts that we put in is very little and it doesn't get it within our cells, within our mitochondria. It can be within our uh, availability in, inside the blood, but what about the tissues and the cells? So this is, you know, what I want to bring to light here. And uh, of course, you know, find yourself a doctor that will listen to you and that is on the same page, you know, because a lot of times, I bring this up from my own experience. Um, you go to the doctors, you tell them, hey, I don't feel well. They do simple blood tests. I say simple with, you know, with an emphasis and they don't find anything wrong with you, but they don't look deep enough. And a lot of times if they just looked a little deeper, they did more comprehensive uh, panels, uh, they can see the problem, you know, and I, I know this is not a know it all thing. You know, we can't always know everything. But these are more extensive tests that can be done. They can be ordered, you know, um, with, especially with functional, um, the corrective care, doctors, naturopathics even. Some, MD, some MDs as well, uh, DOs. You know, I'm just giving you guys this information. You can check everything. You can take snapshots 
of your immune system of other things in your blood like your liver enzymes your pancreas uh, of course you know your glucose your insulin your home IR all this stuff but anyways I just wanted to you know say this because uh, a lot of people do not know this information or maybe they do but then they only know I, I like one side of it they don't know the whole picture of it and that's my whole uh, goal uh, you know here as a coach um, is to direct people and to guide them to health to 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 find that optimal health you know to see what's going on within their bodies because we all have individual um, bodies and systems and I believe that with knowledge of that and we as we gain knowledge uh, this will extend our lives and even make our lives more uh, just healthier overall so all right guys uh, this was kind of a yeah a bit of a rant here but anyways going back to the topic potassium make sure you're intaking that if you have any uh, problems with chronic kidney uh, diseases and stuff you may want to you know get you know a second or third opinion with other doctors try a functional medicine because I've seen differences you know some people say you can't take potassium and some people they go all in on potassium and they get better they reverse CKD they go from you know stage four all the way to two or even to one which is normal you know um, so yeah till next time guys